In the seventh year Jehoiada sent and fetched the rulers over hundreds with the captains and the guard, and brought them to him into the house of the Lord, and made a covenant with them, and took an oath of them in the house of the Lord, and shewed them the king's son. And he commanded them, saying, This is the thing that ye shall do. A third part of you that enter in on the Sabbath shall even be keepers of the watch of the king's house, and a third part shall be at the gate of Shur, and a third part at the gate behind the guard. So shall ye keep the watch of the house, that it be not broken down. And two parts of all you that go forth on the Sabbath, even they shall keep the watch of the house of the Lord about the king. And ye shall compass the king round about, every man with his weapons in his hand. And he that cometh within the ranges, let him be slain. And be ye with the king as he goeth out, and as he cometh in. And the captains over the hundreds did according to all things that Jehoiada the priest commanded. And they took every man his men that were to come in on the Sabbath with them that should go out on the Sabbath, and came to Jehoiada the priest. And to the captains over hundreds did the priest give King David spears and shields that were in the temple of the Lord. And the guard stood, every man with his weapon in his hand, round about the king, from the right corner of the temple to the left corner of the temple, along by the altar in the temple. And he brought forth the king's son, and put the crown upon him, and gave him the testimony, and they made him king, and anointed him. And they clapped their hands and said, God save the king. And in the seventh year Jehoiada strengthened himself, and took the captains of hundreds, Azariah the son of Jehoram, and Ishmael the son of Jehohanan, and Azariah the son of Obed, and Maaseah the son of Adaiah, and Eleshaphat the son of Zikri, into covenant with him. And they went about in Judah, and gathered the Levites out of all the cities of Judah, and the chief of the fathers of Israel. And they came to Jerusalem. And all the congregation made a covenant with the king in the house of God. And he said unto them, Behold, the king's son shall reign, as the Lord hath said of the sons of David. This is the thing that ye shall do. A third part of you entering on the Sabbath of the priests and of the Levites shall be porters of the doors. And a third part shall be at the king's house, and a third part at the gate of the foundation. And all the people shall be in the courts of the house of the Lord. But let none come into the house of the Lord save the priests, and they that minister of the Levites. They shall go in, for they are holy, but all the people shall keep the watch of the Lord. And the Levites shall compass the king round about, every man with his weapons in his hand. And whosoever else cometh into the house, he shall be put to death. But be ye with the king when he cometh in, and when he goeth out. So the Levites and all Judah did according to all things that Jehoiada the priest had commanded, and took every man his men that were come in on the Sabbath, and took every man his men that were to come in on the Sabbath, with them that were to go out on the Sabbaths. For Jehoiada the priest dismissed not the courses. Moreover, Jehoiada the priest delivered to the captains of hundreds spears and bucklers and shields that had been King David's, which were in the house of God. And he sent all the people, every man having his weapon in his hand, from the right side of the temple to the left, from the right side of the temple to the left side of the temple, along by the altar and the temple, by the king's roundabout by the king round about. Then they brought out the king's son, and put upon him the crown, and gave him the testimony, and made him king. And Jehoiada and his sons anointed him, and said, God save the king! And when Athaliah heard the noise of the guard and of the people, she came to the people into the temple of the Lord. And when she looked, behold, the king stood by a pillar, and as the manner was, as the manner was, and the princes, and the trumpeters, by the king, and all the people of the land rejoiced, and blew with trumpets, and Athaliah rent her clothes, and cried, Treason! Treason! But Jehoiada the priest commanded the captains of the hundreds, and the officers of the host, and said unto them, Have her forth without the ranges, and him that followeth her kill with the sword. For the priest had said, Let her not be slain in the house of the Lord. And they laid hands on her, and she went by the way by which 
and she went by the way by the which the horses came into the king's house, and there was she slain. Now when Athaliah heard the noise of the people running and praising the king, she came to the people into the house of the Lord. And she looked in, and, behold, the king stood at his pillar at the entering in, and the princes and the trumpeters by the king, and all the people of the land rejoiced and sounded with trumpets. Also the singers with instruments of music, and such as taught to sing praise. Then Athaliah rent her clothes and said, Treason! Treason! Then Jehoiada the priest brought out the captain of hundreds, that were set over the host, and said unto them, Have her forth of the ranges, and whoso followeth her, let him be slain with the sword. For the priest said, Slay her not in the house of the Lord. So they laid hands on her, and when she was come to the entering of the horse gate by the king's house, they slew her there. Yoash was seven years old when he began to reign, and he reigned forty years in Jerusalem, his mother's name also was Zib Zibiah of Beersheba. And Joash did that which was right in the sight of the Lord all the days of Jehoiada the priest. Seven years old was Jehoash when he began to reign.